I don't think we're gonna be making maple syrup anytime soon. Oy. Whew. Good morning. It is frosty and chilly today. E. <laughs> We have been getting so much snow and, and so many snow drifts. I mean, look at this. Look at that pile right over there. That's all from the wind. It uh, must be about six feet high. And then look at this. It's not going to be too long and I'll be able to actually go up to the second story of the house by just walking up the snowbank. That is ridiculous. Yeah, my friends, we're starting to get to that point in winter where, yeah, enough winter. And I'm about to show you something too. You're gonna see why I'm really frustrated. Okay, look at that. Do you see that? As of last night, there was a perfectly cleared path to the duck house. That's completely gone. Son of a gun. This snow is like frozen solid. I've never seen that where it goes from being snow that's really drifty to being like frozen solid like this in the span of, I don't know, 12 hours. That's crazy. <sighs> it ain't easy trying to start a farm in Vermont in the winter. I'll tell ya. <sighs> and what you gonna do? You know, like you guys who are watching this on YouTube, I like to watch a lot of random YouTube. And one of the things I saw uh, yesterday was this guy in, I think he's a French Canadian, and he's got this invention that's awesome. It was so cool, I felt like I had to write it down. The guy's name is Yvonne Martel, and the product is the MTT136. Catchy name, right? I gotta say, this thing was awesome. I was watching videos of it. I need this thing. The only way I can describe it is it's like a, a snowmobile horse that's like an electric car. Uh, or it's like a robot sled dog, if you will. It's like a tank track and it's got treads on it with a, an electronic motor and a battery housing and that's basically all this thing is and it's got some like handlebars to it and so you can use it to pull a sled you can use it to clear a path it's just awesome as i'm out here struggling and doing nonsense like clearing the same path 20 times over and trying to figure out how to get my atv from being stuck in the barn out i forgot to videotape that episode but yeah the atv is stuck in the barn right now seeing this thing it just looks awesome here let me show you some footage Look at that, isn't that cool? It's like a little horse that can pull you around or a sled dog that can pull you around. Um, and I saw this and it was just kind of mind blowing to me. Apparently the guy doesn't have a distributor yet and so it's not really for sale, but man, I want one so bad. I went down this sort of researching rabbit hole last night after I saw this video clip and uh, I found other products like there's this thing called the the uh, snow dog. It's called the snow dog. This is a pretty funny thing, you know. Uh... And it's basically a gas powered version of the same thing. Um, you know, I, I actually really do want to look into pricing on these things because, you know, I've been toying with getting a snowmobile out here and using that to try to help with some of the chores and getting around and, and you know, trying to do any sort of work back there. Because right now, if I want to go back there, it's an epic trek on snowshoes to get anywhere over there. Having something like that MTT 136 or whatever the thing is called, that would just be awesome to me. And I know, I know, I've lectured you guys about consumerism before and coveting things and pining away for an object and thinking it's gonna make your life better. But man, as I'm out here right now doing my daily chores, dealing with the snow, dealing with the stuff, seeing something like that thing, which is like a, like I said, it's like a little electronic horse for you to pull you around in the snow. <sighs> Just kind of seems awesome to me. All right, let's go get the ducks ready for this morning. I 
I really hope this works. I've been heating it with the hot water bottle for the last hour, so it should be good. There we go. Ever since people saw that video about the fact that I'm allergic to ducks, I've been getting a lot of questions about the ducks diet. So I figured it would be good to show you guys what I'm doing. So this is what I feed the ducks these days. It's um, feed from our local feed store, Morrison's. Really good people, by the way. So what I do is I give them the organic layer pellets. Um, ingredients include it's basically a combination of grain and corn, some soy thrown in, uh, some minerals also kicked in too to help them out. I pony up the extra couple of bucks for the organic non-GMO version. I'll also add some, uh, you know, poultry booster. Particularly for ducks, it's important that they get a lot of niacin in their diet, and so I add that in here to just make sure that they got everything that they need. I also like to give the ducks, you know, a handful or two of some mealworms. Just a little extra added protein. And I throw in a handful of oyster shell. So yeah, that's what we're feeding our ducks. And speaking of ducks, let's go check on them. Given the temperatures, I'm not gonna be releasing the quacking today for obvious reasons. But I did just get this amusing video clip. How you doing, ducks? How's everybody this morning? Ooh, everybody's cold. I can tell. All right. Step one is let's gather our eggs. We got one back here. This one's not frozen. What do we got in here? One, two. Three. Ooh, and these are all not frozen yet. Ooh, I'm getting good at timing these things. Four, also good. Five, good. Six, good. Seven, also good. Is there anything in this corner? Nope. Eight, ooh, this one's still warm. Look at that, nice and warm. Good job, ladies. All right. Good work. Looks like we got eight eggs. I'm gonna go run these inside real quick because I don't want them to freeze. You guys can hang out with the ducks. What did I miss? Oh. You guys are loving that hot water. How about all this? When it's really cold like this, it's important to make sure the ducks have fresh bedding. It helps them keep them warm. You gotta love that carbonaceous diaper. Would you look at them? All they need is a little bit of hot water and some food. They are the happiest things on the planet. That's why I love ducks. We people are too complicated. Ducks, they're simple. You meet their needs and their tails wag. 
it's pretty great. 